All right, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to get started in Unreal Engine 5. So we're at the desktop right now, and the first thing that you will need to open up Unreal Engine 5 is the Epic Games Launcher. Now, to get that, if you go to your internet browser and you go to the unrealengine.com website, you will see a download tab in the top right-hand corner. You will have to download this and get started. You will need these specs. We're not going to get super technical today, but I'm assuming you know how to download some software onto your computer. So download the Epic Launcher, and then the next thing you're going to need to do is you're going to open up the Unreal Launcher. So what's really cool about the Epic Games Launcher is that it not only comes with Unreal Engine, but also has a bunch of different games that you can purchase. So now that I have my installer, up and running you should install your epic games launcher you will have the store where you can navigate see all the games that you could buy go to your library i have fortnite and rocket league which are free and star wars battlefront and then of course unreal engine now the unreal engine tab will also appear here now if you don't have this you might need to go into your settings of your launcher so you can go to the top right hand corner and then go to settings and you might need to enable it here so let's go to the unreal engine tab of the epic games launcher now you'll see a bunch of different tabs here what's cool about unreal engine is that you have your marketplace so unreal engine is fortunately free but you can buy tons of assets on the Unreal Marketplace that you can use for your games, your motion graphics projects, which is what I use, and you can find all sorts of things. We're not going to go into the details of that today, but the main thing I really want you to take away is which engine to install. So when you go to the library tab of your Epic Games launcher, you will see your engine version up here. I have a bunch of different versions installed. You install a new version of the Unreal Engine by clicking on the little plus sign right here. And I highly recommend going with the latest and greatest 5.0.2. And I'm recording this as of June 2022. So it might be newer whenever you're watching this, but I highly recommend downloading the latest version of Unreal Engine. After that, if you have any projects that you've already done, you'll see your projects down here. And the really cool part about the Epic Games launcher with Unreal Engine 5 is the vault. Now, when you scroll down in your library tab, you will see all of the assets that you have access to. Now, one of the really cool parts is as you purchase assets from the Unreal Marketplace, they will be in your vault down here. And then the very convenient button right next to all of your assets down here is the Add to Project button. So you can have a project running and you're like, you know what? I want to bring this into my existing Unreal Engine project. So you can click on Add to Project and then if it corresponds with the version, so some of the stuff on the Unreal Marketplace is only for versions 4.27, 4.26, etc. It will only be compatible with those. So you can say, oh, I want to put it in this corresponding version. So you do have to watch out for that. Now, I do have a tutorial coming that will showcase how to bring an older version of Unreal content into Unreal Engine 5, but we're not going to talk about that today. So you can just add any of your vault assets into your Unreal project. And then the cool part is you can hit the launch button and get started with Unreal Engine 5. Now I'm cutting it off here because I want to keep this tutorial short. Check out the next video of this series and you can find out how to start an Unreal Engine 5 project. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Eat one gram of protein per pound of body weight and you'll make some gains. Goodbye, my friends. Bye.